Hey everybody, it's Steve, and I feel so lucky to actually be holding the newest LaserCube product release, the 2.5 watt Pro version. This is Wicked Laser's top of the line laser cube, and it joins the 1.2 Wi-Fi and 2.5 Wi-Fi family of cubes. In this video, I wanna show you this awesome laser, first comparing its features side by side with the previous two cubes in the product line, then show how you can connect all three of them together in sync using a simple ethernet switch, and finally, show them working together sync to an audio track using the new timeline function in Laser OS. First, let's look at what each of these cubes shares in common. All three have the same beam block mechanism on the front. And on the back, each have the same connection mode button, key lock, interlock connector, DC input jack, power switch, and eye bolt safety and all three have an RJ45 Ethernet port as well as a Wi-Fi antenna for connecting to the Laser OS software. The ProCube is noticeably taller and heavier and it features ILDA in and out ports up at the top. The main difference between the first two cubes is their power output, 1.2 watts versus 2.5 watts. Other than that, they're very similar in size and weight. The larger Pro version is 2.5 watts, but increases the scan rate from 25K in the previous two versions to 35K. And the higher scan rate means that beams and graphics are a lot smoother. It's also worth mentioning that each of these lasers can be bought in a package that includes a really nice case and a bullhead tripod, but there's various add-ons such as optic kits, rain covers, etc., to expand their functionality. If you were connecting just one cube, the simplest way would be to use Wi-Fi server mode. And to do this, you push the connection mode button until it turns cyan, and then you long hold the button until it slow blinks. Now the LaserCube is going to create its own Wi-Fi network called LaserCube that you can connect to with your computer's network settings. And when you go to Laser OS Settings, then General, make sure this USB Wi-Fi toggle switch is on and you're ready to connect. To connect three of the cubes together, you need a network switch. And I got this D-Link five port ethernet switch on Amazon for under $30. And to make it work, you connect your computer into the switch along with the three laser cubes using regular ethernet cables. Then you take one of the cubes, I'll use the Pro, and put it in LAN server mode. You push the mode button until it turns yellow. It's hard to see here on the video. And then you long hold it to enable that mode. Now you put the other two in LAN client mode by selecting the green light and long holding to enable. And when everything is connected correctly, the lights will go to solid colors. And just a note, you have to disconnect from your wireless network on your computer to get everything to work. Now that the first cube is in server mode, it's assigning an IP address to the other two cubes on the network. So with everything set up, all three cubes will mirror the patterns that are coming from Laser OS. Now if you want to control each cube independently, and who wouldn't, you can use third-party software like Laser Show Gen. It's inexpensive and it's full featured, but there is a bit of a learning curve to it. A new feature in Laser OS that's been long anticipated is a timeline function for creating shows from an audio track. So to make this work, you first click the timeline app icon, then new timeline, and you'll see an empty timeline created at the bottom that you can directly drag an MP3 file to. And note that MP3 files are currently the only file format that you can import. 
And once the audio is loaded, it displays a waveform and you can drag patterns in below it to build your show. It's pretty easy to adjust the length and position of each pattern. And when you zoom in and out with the scale slider, it's really easy to see the displayed waveform and line up downbeats. So once a show is created, you can name and save it here. And remember, Laser OS is free to download and it has a visualizer that shows each pattern. So anybody can start building shows while they're waiting for their laser cube to arrive. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.